So Blade Runners, uh, along with the little slide and jump, you know, you can really move. In fact, I think you can move quicker than the factory cart now uh, just to get around. So it's awesome. Woohoo! Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, the plan's going to be to get the walls in place on our factory and maybe our coal factory, too, just depending upon how things go. Um, but before we get started, if you want to be a part of uh, our awesome Discord community here in the Old Guy Gaming channel, you can find the links to the Discord down in the description of the video and in the About section of the channel. Also know that I do a live stream several times a week. Uh, but my schedule is kind of fluid, so the best thing to do is join up on the Discord, and uh, all the live streams will be announced there. Okay, enough of that. Now, I want to show you uh, what has happened, first of all, down below. So I've basically gone all around uh, the underneath side of the factory. Woohoo! <laughs> and got the pillars in place. Um, there we go. So, oh my goodness, yeah, this thing really spins out in the toolies. It's kind of funny. Uh, okay, easy, easy on the throttle there, OG. Easy on the throttle. So basically, you know what we're gonna do? Actually, we're going to get out of this doggone thing. Do I have room in my inventory? Um, and we are going to pick it up. There we go. Okay. Uh, so I I ran uh, cross beams. So we got the big beams, you know, for the verticals, and then the smaller beams for the cross beams, and you know, just put all of this in place so everything. Looks like it's structurally sound. Uh, we could put one here. These things are a little bit odd to work with. You actually have to move the mouse up to get it to go down, and vice versa. I don't know. If, I don't know if that's supposed to be that way, but it's just kind of strange. Um, and then we're gonna run that into the ground. Just you know, uh, we're assuming that it was embedded into the ground just to provide support. But I think it's looking pretty good down here. Uh, on the other side, we had to finagle a couple of things. Uh, what in the hell? To get stuff to work correctly so let's hop down here hopefully without hurting ourselves so we were fine um you know all uh, all the way almost to the end but at the end because our platform is overhanging um a little bit uh i didn't really want to run the beams all the way down into the valley i mean i could have but that is a long way so what i did instead was i created this cross beam here um to support you know the the corners of our factory floor here that are floating uh, out over beyond the the terrain here and I thought you know that that sounds reasonable I think that would probably work okay and so yeah everything is in place I didn't put a cross beam here because it would go right through the miner and I didn't put a cross beam here because obviously doing so would uh, block our uh, access on the ramp all of our ramps and little conveyor roadways now have rails on them uh, both this one and the one uh, leading over to the Caterium mine uh, I, I didn't really know what to do here, so I left it this way. It's very accessible. It's a little weird, but um, I don't want to block this roadway because, we, you know, we come down here with our our factory cart. Uh, so, you know, this this has to stay smooth, whereas this this little access way we're not going to be using a lot. So, yeah, um, not sure if there's a better solution. I guess I could have done some stairs up and over, but I, I think that would have looked even stranger than the way it currently is. So we're, gonna, we're just going to leave it the way that it is. So let's go take a look at a couple other things I've done. I put an awesome sink over here, and I'm just making smart plates and feeding them right into the awesome sink. Um, and we're still supplying the rotors from over here, but the rotors are building up over time, which is great. So we have a nice little supply of rotors there. And likewise, the reinforced plate that's also feeding that is still also accumulating because it doesn't use as much as, be, as is being produced. Uh, so essentially it's the overflow that's going into the awesome sink uh, there. Uh, we have a full bin of, of structural frames, uh, modular frames, sorry, and those should be yeah starting to fill up in there too. So we're doing good on that front. Let's go take a look over here. And uh, we're going to do some more stuff with Caterium too. Um, let's get that out of the way first. Uh, but we are going to get to the building today. That is the plan. Let's take a look and see how many coupons we have in total. Okay, so we have eight coupons. But uh, what we're going to do, as I'd mentioned, is we're going to start feeding this quick wire uh, into an awesome sink, too. And I'll probably just build another awesome sink and put it over here. Might as well. Uh, but anyway, so let's take a look and see what we got. We have uh, a full bin of quick wire now. And then this one's starting to fill up. 
And then we also have some backflow of ingots too, which is great because uh, we need these ingots for some research. So let's grab a couple stacks of those. Let's grab a couple stacks of these. Okay, and um, I'm gonna go over here really quick. Got a couple of leaves that we can throw in our bio thingamadoodle. We're gonna st still need, I think we're still gonna need biofuel like for the Explorer, uh, which is something we I wanna get working on real quick too. Here, let's put the, the cart back on the floor here. Okay, that'll free us up a slot. And just throw this in here. And, oh, we're, we're almost out of concrete. In fact, yeah, we have five things of concrete left. We have plenty uh, in there. But let's go over to the MAM. And go to Caterium. And we're going to we're gonna go ahead and research this. Oh, that's two minutes. Caterium Electronics is only three seconds. Let's do the quick ones first. Okay, so that unlocks... Mark two power poles, a power switch, um, the blade runners, which is what I really want, a smart splitter, which is really cool. I'll show you how that works uh, when the time comes. Uh, basically, it you can program it to move different types of products out different outputs, so it's really really useful. Uh, and the zip line. So this is a five minute research. That's a five minute research. Um, I actually want to do these first because what these are going to do is they're going to make us run faster and jump higher. Um, so let's start the research on that and we'll let that run and then of course we're going to be hitting all these other things too uh, as time goes on. Excellent. Now the other thing I want to get into is quartz research. We kind of started it here um, but we have a couple of quartz nodes just kind of off over that direction so I want to set up uh, another uh, assembly line I guess is the word for those two. And probably we'll run that over here and we'll put it right next to the Caterium. Uh, so all of the kind of, I don't know what you call like the, the, the side production lines, the auxiliary production lines, uh, like the Caterium in the quartz and the sulfur, those little stations, we're gonna, my plan is to build them uh, in this area of the factory. But we, that's going to be another episode. We're going to do that today, of course. All right, so um, let's go ahead and... Get ourselves an awesome sink, a new one. Because this one, I'm just going to keep this one here for now. And we're going to bring it over here. And it, I think for the time being, as long as we have enough room, which I think we will, I'm just going to stick it right on the end of here. Uh, and we want to make sure that it's lined up with the output of these, these guys here. So, oh, we need concrete. Let me go get some concrete. Okay, let's take that apart. And this is, uh, that's completely full, isn't it? Okay. So I think what we'll do, yeah, we'll just leave that the way that it is. And let's grab an awesome sink from here. Back up a little bit. Make sure we're lined up there, which looks like we are. We'll move it in until it touches and then just back out a couple a couple of movement points there. Let's press Alt and use our mouse wheel to go back to our main toolbar. And we're just going to... Wait a minute. Oh, I have... Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry, my bad. Um, we're going to have to pull this back a little further. Actually... And I don't want to take that down because then we're going to, I'm going to have a bunch of, here, let's just, let's do it right. Let's do it right. Um, oh wow, were we able to fit all those in our inventory? We sure will. Uh, will. Were. Oh no, we weren't. I was going to say, what? No way. All right, let's just temporarily put uh, some of the quick wire in here. 98% of this is going to just be awesome sink food. Anyway. Um, okay, now let's get uh, all of this out of here. Okay, um, 
for this, you know what? For this, I think I'm just going to do a single. So let's get that right about in between the middle of those. That's pretty close. Let's take this business down. We're just going to keep these auxiliary factories um, simple. Not try and get too fancy with going up and down and all that sort of thing. All right, cool. So those get fed into awesome sink. Um, I'm going to move uh, all of this stuff back in there now. Oh, you know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to use Mark II belts on this just to move it even quicker. Because why not? We got the we got the resources for it. Let's just move, go Mark II. All right, now we just need to get some power to our awesome sink. Where is that connection? It's over there. Okay, so we're going to run a pole to here. It's not touching anything, is it? Nope. We're good. Okay. All right, there we go. Eat them up, awesome sink. Eat them up. Uh, we still have quite a few stacks of this left over, probably more than we'll ever actually need. But we're gonna we'll hang on to it, you know, and use that for our research that requires quick wire. I don't think anything any other production stuff would require quick wire. I can't remember for sure, uh, but I don't think so. And if it does, you know, well, then we've got a setup to do it. So let's just put it all in there for now. Actually, let's grab some though because our Blade Runners are done. Hallelujah. All right, so we're going to go here, and we're going to get our Blade Runners, um, uh, wait a minute, what? Hold on a sec. Do we have to finish? I think we have to finish out the research. We have to confirm it. Yeah, there we go. New okay. Equipment unlocked. All right, let's go back to uh, Katerium again, and, um, I think, I'll, let's just do this right now, and we will get the zip lines too, of course. Okay, so that's two-minute research. Now, if we go over here, um, we can make the blade runners. We got everything we need for that. Awesome. Okay, so these go in our body slot, and what they do is they allow us to run faster and jump higher. So blade runners, uh, along with the little slide and jump. You know, you can really move. In fact, I think you can move quicker than the factory cart now, uh, just to get around. So it's awesome. Woohoo! And we can we can jump a lot higher too. Okay, so we got the Blade Runners. Awesome. That is another important milestone that we wanted to get finished in the game. So we're researching the pocket dimensions. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go grab. Uh, we have nine coupons, so let's just print those out right now, because there is. Uh, one or two more things I want to get in here for today's episode. Uh, so we want to go to walls, and we want to buy the windowed walls. So let's put that in the cart. Uh, we have three more that we can work with. So we could get the gates with those three. Let's go back to architecture for a moment. Yeah, I don't see anything there that we need right at the moment. What about attachments? I think we've already bought all that stuff. Foundations. Oh, I wanted to get this inverted ramp. So let's get... Um, well, should we, I don't know, we should kind of get the gate, shouldn't we? Yeah, let's get the gate. <laughs> we'll, we'll get the inverted ramp later. Um, there we go. Okay. Let's check out. Now we have window walls and gates. Hot damn. All right, you guys. So, um, it is time to put some walls up on our factory. Now. What I'm probably going to do is I'm probably going to... Research is done already? Nice. Uh, I'm going to put the walls all the way on the, on the outside edge here, but we might, we'll probably build walkways around uh, the factory after that. And so we'll probably we'll use these walkways here and just make it like, like this and build those all all the way around the perimeter and we'll probably change these ramps so they come up on the walkway instead um, and that's the whole reason why I haven't put rails along this platform because um, it's been my plan to you know to put the walkways on or, or to put the walls up and then the walkways outside 
So uh, what we could do here is zoop these along. Actually, you know what? Maybe I'll do that first. I think I, I will. I think I'm going to go along, put the walkway in first, and then we'll work on the walls. But before we do that, let's go back to the main. Oh, look at that, man. We're flying. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> this game is so fun. This game is so fun, you guys. You got to play it. Has been inflated. It's it's more fun than you than it appears at first. You know, I'll, I'll tell you a little little anecdote here. Um, when Satisfactory first came out, I saw it and go, oh, that looks kind of cool. But I didn't really get it until I started playing it, which I didn't start playing it until Update 4. I mean, it, I waited a couple more years. Uh, but once you start playing this game, it's like, oh, my goodness, this is just so addicting. It's just a lot of fun. All right, anyway, let's go back to Caterium again. And uh, now we're going to research the zip line. We've got everything we need for that. Start the research. That's going to take five minutes. Beautiful. All right, let me get these walkways around our platform. And when I get that done, I'll bring you guys back, and then we'll do the next thing. Oh, I'm going to grab my... Ch do I have my chainsaw? I do, but I need some biofuel. Because I'm probably going to have to do a little bit of clearing. Alright, so we got the, all of that done. Let's get this tree out of here because it's uh, being a little bit of a nuisance. Now, we're going to redo... We're gonna, whoops. Yep. We're going to redo our ramps too. So, what I want to do here is... Let's come up here. And we're going to take this out, and then we're going to switch this to the ramp, and bring that all the way down there, and this is going to have to come out too. And this is going to have to come out and become this piece here. And then we're going we're, we're gonna to actually get rid of all this and then just fill this in and in doing this we may not need to even get that inverted block now well, we probably still will just just because but okay now I need just a normal rail here okay so this looks a little jank but it is what it is. Can't do much about it. Okay, so we don't need this. Um, we don't need any of this here now. Um, and we don't need that there. And we don't need that there. And I think... Um, I think the ramp... Oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. We gotta take this off, too. I think the catwalk ramp uh, is still plenty wide enough to get like a tractor up it. So, um, this is going to be a little tricky. Can I just select that? Okay, we got that selected. Yeah, you know what? It's probably going to be easier for me to just do this first. There we go. Okay, now let's redo the ramp. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we can still get a tractor up there. It's going to be a little narrower, but it shouldn't be a problem. All right, so now that we've done this, let's um bring this all the way to here. And grab one of these, and oh, actually, we're gonna have to do this. Grab one of these, put it here, flip it around, boom. There we go. That finishes that off. I like this better. 
I like this better. Okay, let's go do the same thing on the other side with the ramp that's over here. So first thing we want to do is get rid of all of these ramps. And get rid of all this crap here. Okay, I think that cleans that up. Put that lock back where it was. And then we take these three away. We turn this one into a corner, like so. Now this one, I'm not sure how this is going to turn out at the bottom, so... Oh, actually, I think it'll be okay. Got a little bit of terrain cutting in there, but nothing, nothing we're going to worry about. Okay, that doesn't need to there anymore. And like we did before, we'll pop in one of these th thingamadoodles. Uh, it needs to go up a little bit. So we have to move... Oh, okay, so this one, we're moving up to go up. I'm, I, I don't quite get that. I'm not sure what the deal is with that, but whatever. Okay, so that fixes that. And then... We go back up here and take this out and put just a normal whoops no 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 just a normal four meter block in there i like it um oh yeah this can go too and there we go much better much 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 better now do we need to do anything over here with uh with this ramp yeah we're gonna oh hmm this is gonna be fun i guess what we could do is leave this here and we'll put a gate here seems like it i mean i'd rather have a landing for the gate though but if I, if I build this out one, then, well, actually, if I build it out one, we might, we could probably run the conveyor line back underneath it. It's not really going to hurt anything down there. I'll have to redo these power lines on all these rails, which will be a bit of a pain in the neck. Um, all right, you know what? I'm going to hold off on that for now. What we are going to put in here, though, is a gate. Uh, so let's go to walls. And automated gate. Press E to switch to always open mode. Press E to switch to automatic mode. So that's automatic mode. Does it have to be powered? Okay. Nope. Okay, cool. All right, so we're, we're going to put that there. I might off-camera redo this, too, but for, uh, for today, I'm just going to leave it like it is. Very good. Now, I want to find our, our central tile here. I don't remember how many this is, so let's count it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So the seventh tile. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, let's put another gate here. Um, yeah, it, it's actually, it, if we can remember this, at least north-south, it's the tile that the, the hub's on. Uh, it might help us remember. Well, with the door in place, it'll be easier to figure out from now on, too. Okay, now, next thing we're going to do is... If we, let's see, so now we have six tiles in between. Yeah, I was thinking about putting more doors in, and we still can later, but I don't think I'm going to do that now. 
Okay, let's press Alt and go to our third toolbar. And we're going to put some stuff on here. So let's, uh, let's see, we're going to want basic wall, so we'll put that in one. Um, we will do gate in two. Gate hole wall. We'll put that in three. And then we'll put the windows in four, because I think... Once we select it, we can tap E, yeah, to to go through it, the different ones. So is this just supposed to be, does this go around this? No, oh, that doesn't really, that must be for something different. That must be for a different kind of gate or something, because that doesn't look right. Okay, now we know. Oh boy, okay, so, whew. What, uh, let's get, let's grab our first wall, <laughs> um, and we're gonna need, actually, hold on, let's go back over by our tallest stuff, which is, which is these guys here, and see how high we're gonna need to go to clear that. We are, obviously, we're not gonna, you know, we have to build around the space elevator. Well, the space elevator is not gonna be inside at all. Um, so we're really, even though we have one platform, uh, we're probably going to have maybe even just one building. I got something that's shutting down. It's probably because something's overloaded, but you know, I'll, I'm, I'll worry about that later. I'm just, I don't want to mess with it right now. Okay. Anyway, let's, let's go one, two, three, four. I, I want to say we're going to need to go five high. Let's climb up there. Is, is our concrete full? Or maybe it's our... Rods. It's not the rods. Oh, I didn't do what I actually climbed up here to do. Yeah, it definitely needs to be five high. Um, I'm just trying to think. You know, we're going to want to put lights and stuff in too, but I think that'll give us enough clearance. Looks like maybe it's the screws that are backed up. We got a full thing of screws there. Uh, actually, another easier way to do this is if you just hold F and look at the right, it'll show, it'll tell you uh, if it's full. So each one of these has 12,000. So we're gonna shut this constructor off for now. Okay, so that'll shut that down. Uh, we're still filling up rods, and looks like we're done on plates now, too. Oh, wait, what? Hold on a second. Yeah, each one of these has 4,810 plates. So let's shut this down uh, right here. And what I'm going to do, especially with this basic stuff, I mean, we don't get very much in the awesome sink anyways. I might just keep it turned off until I start using it and then need to fill it up again. All right. So, so we turn those off. Let's take a look at our copper production while we're here. 4,800, 4,800, 4,800. Okay, so for these, these give us pretty decent points in the awesome sink, and they, you know, they're they're pretty quick to produce. So let's, I had an awesome sink over here earlier. Let's put it back in place. Make sure it's lined up there. And we'll throw a mark for, oh, we have to get on the other toolbar. There we go. Just throw a Mark IV into there. Oh, what the hell, man? You showed like you were lined up. That looks right. And, yeah, those are all ready, ready to go. Um, so we just need to do that. Okay. So that'll get those moving. How are we doing on 
sheets. 45. Okay, so sheets are still working. Wire is still working. Concrete is being fed into the thing. How are we doing on reinforced plates? Okay, those are still going. That's actually being fed in over there. We're still going on the frames and the rotors. Okay. So it the the refiners are still, you know, kind of backed up a little bit, shutting off and on, but honestly, I don't think I'm going to worry about it right now. Let's get back to the building. I mean, I could spend a couple hours trying to get, you know, fix all that stuff, and I don't want to do it right now. Okay, so we know we want to go five high. Uh, so let's take these back down. Uh, this is going to be another gate location. So let's go to Alt and back to our third toolbar. And we'll pop a gate in here. Now all of these power pulls are going to come out and be replaced by sockets. The ones that I've run along uh, the edge here. But I don't know. I don't want to necessarily do that right this moment so let's just run one wait a minute do we have another no we don't okay I wasn't sure if we had another opening to deal with or not so let's just run one row down here and along here Okay, now before we do anything further, uh, what I want to do is let's play around a little bit with the uh, customizer. So we could make these look like concrete walls, or at least make some of them look like concrete walls. Or we could keep them the normal walls, but change their color. So if we were going to change color, what does orange? This is kind of like a darker gray. That's interesting. I thought we could. Oh, yeah, we can just press E. There's white, green, purple. Aqua, kind of a brownish gold. Swatch 15 has a very kind of a concrete look to it. Swatch 1 is, oh, just the orange one. What does that actually look like, though? Oh, yeah, that's what it actually looks like. Um... I kind of, I don't know, I kind of like, what are, let's go to concrete wall, but let's also play around with the colors for the concrete wall. So we'll go back to the swatch. I guess we can make our own custom color too, which is kind of cool. Okay, so that's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 15, 14, 15. I kind of like that, that bluish look. I mean, that's what we did down in the, the coal factory. So what I think we'll do is we'll swatch the corners. Oh, do I have to... Hold on a sec. Let's put this in place. So do I have... I, I think I have to change the walls to the concrete first before I change the color. I don't, I don't know that you can do that both at the same time. 
All right, so yeah, let's um, let's make all of this concrete. And then what we're gonna do here? Let's get the other ones concrete too. Alright, now, um, I guess we have to apply the color separately. So what I should probably do is build the concrete walls first, and then I'll have to come back later to do the coloring. Alright, so let's go back over here. Um, we're going to select this, and we're going to go up five. So two, three, four, five. And same thing here for the corners. And then... What I think we should do is let's also uh, come on, get up there. How do I get that to? There's somewhere it uh, 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 right there. Okay, uh, two, three, four, five. Oh, come on, three, four, five. There we go. Now, what we can do here is we can put some windows in. So let's go to four. And do we want to just... Oh, we need silica. Oh, that's right. That's why we got to get going on the, on the quartz. Uh, okay, so we're going to leave, we're going to leave the window windows just open for now. Uh, but what we might actually want to do, though, is I want to try something. I think I have a little bit of silica. Yeah, we do have a little bit of silica. Okay. So is that enough to build the window? Silica and steel plating. We're going to need more steel plating, too. Um, I guess we should turn that back on since we took some out now. Okay, what I want to do is I want to see if I can connect the power poles to the glass. So let's do this one section here. Okay. And what we can do is go here and then if we press E, does it rotate? It doesn't. Alright, so if we go back to toolbar 1 and do this power pole so E doesn't cycle on that so I guess we have to have to select the socket directly all right um, so okay let's go back to the third toolbar then our building toolbar into Q into power and we want to make the single will be five and the double will be six and I think I don't know it almost makes sense to use doubles in almost every case because then you have connections that you can tap to tap on the outside unless they look kind of weird I don't know <coughs> um, okay so let's let's put yeah we can okay and we can put it right at the intersection too which is actually really good okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to, um, I'm going to put, let's go back to power. I'm going to put power line here too. So we'll put that in seven just because we're going to be using power line a lot in this menu. Okay, that one's already full. So if we, all right, 
whatever. I'm trying to get to, to this. Okay. Put that there. Now, if we do this and put that on the socket, what I want to do is connect this line here to the socket. And this line here to the socket. And then we can get rid of that. And then for what's going on down here, let's delete this and hook up to the socket on the outside, which was, was it that one? Or I think it was this one. Okay, and then this one here needs to go to here. Whoops, wrong thing. To get power back to that. And then we should be able to just delete this and then reconnect uh, that and this. There we go. Okay, so uh, I'm I'm just doing these these first couple ones just so you guys kind of see what I'm gonna do. But obviously, I'm, this is gonna take a long time, uh, so this is gonna definitely be an off-camera thing. Uh, but I the plan is to replace all of the poles that are along the perimeter uh, with the sockets. And um, yeah, I don't know. It might hmm. it might not look good to have everything be a double socket. So maybe we'll only make double sockets where it makes sense to. So, and this is going to be a straighter connection here. So let's get rid of that. Maybe that's where it was originally and I just got confused. Okay, cool. So yeah, guys, I, I think you pretty much have seen it now. So so this is going to be the pattern that we're going to use. Um, we might... Uh, play around a little bit with the color of the frames too. So they're they're currently orange. Um, let's get let's get this color in place for all the concrete surrounding it just so we get the full flavor of everything here. Um, okay, so we could do blue frames, but what about how come that's not uh, shifting color still trying to get used to the customizer here what I want to oh here we go now we can switch okay so that's swatch one swatch two that's kind of more of a gray Ooh, the white might look kind of neat That's the other kind of more like egg white. I think I like this. So I think we're going to have all the window frames be white. And then we'll use kind of our bluish tint for all of the concrete. And so, yeah, we'll just go around and do that. Now, as far as the roof goes, uh, I don't have the ceiling pieces yet. So I think we're just going to go with one meter foundations for the roof uh, up on top, like so. And then, you know, that gives us a whole nother platform on top to, which I think at this point, my plan is to use that to start our steel uh, factory once it's done. So, all right, I'm gonna work on the rest of this stuff off camera. You guys now basically know what it's gonna look like when it's all done. Um, we, we're going to want to put some factory lights in too, but I'm not going to, you know what, actually, hold on a sec. I think it would be better to do this. Yeah, let's do that. I did kind of like the windows running all the way up and down. What if we, here, let's try, let's do the opposite of that. Well, no, maybe not the opposite, but what if we put windows down here? 
How does that look? Ooh, I kind of like that, actually. Um, they need to be swatched with number four. Yeah, I, I think I like that. Okay, so this is going to be um, what it's going to look like. And so I'm going to go around and put all the walls and windows in place. Oh, you know what, though? I got to get the silicone. I got to get the silicone going first. Oh, uh, that's probably going to be the next episode then. So, yeah, we're going to get our, our silicon production. That's going to open up some other things uh, for us too, including the Explorer, which is a really cool dune buggy kind of vehicle that we can use to, you know, to, to it's like an all-terrain vehicle dune buggy kind of thing. Uh, very cool. So, yeah, I might hold off on doing any more of this until we get silicon production going uh, because we're going to need a lot of it for the glass. So, yeah, let's plan on doing uh, Silicon uh, in the next episode. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.